Welcome back, folks, to Spunty's Reign as King of Rindiar Castle and ruler of all of Spuntytopia. When last we left off, as king, we gave people some grain and recruited some dudes. It's all pretty much par for course there. Unacceptable. And that place was looted quite a while ago. Also, we have some skirmishers to train as crossbowmen and some people to train as recruits. We're probably just going to dump a fair amount of those recruits just straight back into the castle, to be honest. I mean, the recruits cost practically nothing to keep on staff, and there are so many of them. So has anywhere particularly been besieged nearby? No, not hugely. Everything seems to be pretty tip-top tickety-boo. However... How many recruits? We have no more recruits. Hmm. Interesting. No, no, we we have two. So dump those two in. Take these two out. Nice. A full army of 75 men who are going to eat this food like it's going out of style. Because it probably is. I could go into here and fight some uh, step bandits if I could actually keep up with any of them. That might earn me a bit of cash. Oh, speaking of step bandits, there are 20 of them, and we cannot keep up with them. And they are just going to run away from me. However, they've managed to pin themselves into here, so they're pretty much doomed. I don't even know what those deserters were, but there are only three of them. Hello! Surrender or die. Ah, oh, you chose the die option. I'm a fan of that one. Look at my army now. You wouldn't think a lowly bandit would have an army as strong as this. I'm going to capture as many of them as possible before they all just get murdered by my men at arms. And trust me, they will all get murdered by my men at arms. Well, I actually captured one. One of 16 have been murdered. I will let recruits go if it means getting manhunters. Manhunters are cool. Yep. Seems about right. Capture one bandit. Let's two recruits go to hire two manhunters. And get a few things. And probably get some promotions. Yep. Ooh, another Swadian knight. So, up to 22. 23. There we go. 1,234 dinars a week. To be fair, I might want to cancel actually getting the um, plate mail until I have a reliable source of income that's not slowly being ebbed away by the fact that I'm training tons of people. That castle is no longer under siege. I don't even know where that castle is. It's nowhere near here, that's for- Hello! 39 step bandits! Don't even think about it. They're my villagers. Don't even think about it. You are thinking about it. I know you are. This is not a good thing to think about. That's right. Keep running. So, now that I've scared those people away, let's sell some things. Buy a little more food. Ooh, no, not from here. Vagar skirmishers and Nord huntsmen. That's a really interesting combination that's running away from me at the speed of light. Quite literally, at the speed of light. Hmm. I think it's time to dump some militiamen off into this um, 
into here. We definitely don't the manhunters off, because I don't eat them anymore. The more recruits and militiamen I have in here, the more bulky this will uh, appear to be. I mean, so far it is only being defended by 80 men. That is not enough. We need a lot more than 80. 82. That's probably nearly 100. 95. And one prisoner. Does he want to join us? Yes. And by joining us, he then immediately gets dumped in there. 96. Wow, we're going at 5.1 with 60 men. It's probably because our morale is only above average. Hmm. Whoa, look at that, see? 14 Swadia militiamen offer to join. Recruit them? They're going straight in the castle. They're going straight in the castle for when we need them. <laughs> See, their, their uh, training is only 14 hours. There we go. Look at my little compact army I've got here. It'll be even more compact once I actually uh, have the right number of everything. 25 of each and the rest are infantrymen. Hmm. It's dusk. I wonder if we have any Kurgit skirmishers and horsemen lying around. Kurgit horsemen, Kurgit skirmishers. We have ten. We really don't have enough, really. Most of my Kurgit got massacred. Most of them got massacred. Let's go have a look at this castle again. I'm a bit... I'm, I'm always, like, curious as to if I should really miff off the Kerchet. I know how strong they are. Like, the Kerchet are very strong. Without a doubt, they are tough. Tough people. With vast quantities of mobility and pretty decent archers. So, his army now is... A lot. Yeah, never mind. Oh wait, that guy's just left. Usually 144 men. I could probably take on 144 men. Like, it sounds weird, but I probably could. If I bulked my army out with some tough soldiers, I could definitely, definitely take on 144 men. But I don't want to right now. I really would prefer to take something weaker. It does make me regret that I actually declared peace with the Swadians, but as soon as that's over, I'll just invade them again and kill them. Also, I could have took those boots before. Those were the correct boots. Hmm. Any good horses going? Ooh, a heavy step charger. It's four grand, but it is a lot better than what I've got. It's not as maneuverable. It charges so much better, though. And the armor... Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time we spent a lot of money investing in something really good. Forget armor for now. Forget armor for now. We'll have that. Actually, do you guys okay for... You guys okay? Stubborn, stubborn. And you're probably also equipped pretty similarly. Step horse. Ah, that's better. It's an improvement. That's a big improvement, actually. There. Four and a half grand has gone on a horse. You'd think that's a silly thing. But it's really not. A horse is your primary mode of transport. After all, this is mount and blade. Not just blade. That would be a completely different game. I would probably have much less banditry. Oh, hello. There's my little villagers. Is this place no longer desolate and destitute? 
it's still desolate and destitute. However, I found you guys again. Oi. I will find you. There you are. Come back here. Come back. I know you're this way. I know you're this way. Just turn around. Dog will teach you the true path. So now, I can technically dump off those uh, infantrymen. Just dump them in my castle. I think about 150 men should be sufficient for uh, a rough quantity of troops. Wow, there's a lot of Swadia burning right now. Hello? Oh. Let's help out the, the manhunters, shall we? We always like helping out manhunters. Besides, we'll get a lot of pluses with them. They are a faction that you can get rep with, after all. And besides, we can get some looters. That is... I can hit them. <laughs> like, we shall take these men unconscious to seek justice. I can help you. You seem to be murdering them all. Helping! I'm the hero of Vader! Um... Thank you. <laughs> hey, we got one looter. Add some boots and a rock. It does beat having bread thrown our way. Right. I think we have to go back to Rindiar and dump off these infantrymen. Does the looter want to join our party? Yes, he does. Fantastic. Morale is high. This does not surprise me. Okay. Manage the garrison. Dump this guy off. Dump all them off. <laughs> so now we only have... 53 men. But we are now going at 5.3 speed, which means you could probably actually catch people up relatively effectively. We don't need to manage the village. So what now? What now? We could look at the uh, the Saranid Sultana, but they're really not doing very much. Villages are just being looted. Villages are just being besieged. Really, like... I'm doing pretty well when it comes to actually training up an army, but the issue with it is that I've got nothing to fight. Like, I could go after this castle, but I will then incur the wrath of the nearby Kurjet. The good advantage of this territory is it's far away from the majority of the territories over there. But it gets a substantial distance. I mean, there's 142 men here. You have a lot of horse archers, though, and horsemen. Like, I have a lot of swatting and knights, and men at arms, but I get the feeling I'd lose most of them. I would have a good source of, um, Kurgit recruits, though, so I could train swatting and knights here, Kurgit veteran horse archers there, and have a wholly mounted army. I'll think about it. I'll definitely think about it. So, when we come back, folks. I will think about that. It might be an interesting idea. Mix and match Kurgits and Swadians. So I'll catch you later, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.